You are watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, advances in the removal of veins in the hands, face, and legs. My first guest needs no introduction, Dr. Sandy Greenberg. Dr. Greenberg, always a pleasure to have you on the show. Always good to be back, and I love your new set. Thank you very much. Thanks for uh, driving out. Now, uh, um, you were on the show like 10 years ago. I mean, you've been that doing, was the first one. And you've been doing veins. Uh, I mean, you're probably the busiest guy, one of the busiest guys in the U.S. Probably have the largest, certainly in Southern California, the largest vein presence in, uh, in this area. I remember on the first show you said, and I want to know if this is still true, you say you do more veins, more injections in a day than most guys do in six months or a year. Well, you know, I, I think we calculated once. I do about a th I, I, on a, a busy day. I can do a thousand injections in that day. So it's a lot of. We do a lot of injections as well as laser work. Now, uh, you know, for people that don't know you, uh, tell us a little bit about your background, your training. I mean, you've been involved in veins from St. Louis for a long time. We started off the vein practice in St. Louis, uh, Springfield, Illinois, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Um, we moved to California eight years ago, and we've. Um, we we just were going to do this as a retirement exercise and we got busier and busier and it became almost overwhelming so i moved a uh, another physician out here from st louis and uh, she and i have carried on the tradition now we have uh, uh, physician assistants and assist and all sorts of uh, personnel and it's gotten huge you train other doctors is that we right? do. We're, we're uh, one of the four national trainers for angiodynamics laser, um, and we teach doctors from all over the country to do the uh, laser part of this procedure for large veins. Uh, last, last month I had somebody from uh, Mayo Clinic in and uh, also from Scripps Clinic, uh, interventional radiologists that come to us to train. Now you have offices now uh, all over the place. Is we have right? offices basically we're in um, in the Southern California area, we're in the Palm Desert area, we're in Newport Beach, and soon to come in uh, other areas like uh, Beverly Hills and uh, somewhere in San Diego, but we haven't. Do you like it. doing this? Because I talk to doctors and they say, Randy, that is tedious work. I can't imagine anybody liking to do that. You like it? You really like it? Uh, I think it's interesting you ask that question. If, if I teach uh, or if a doctor learns how to do veins and do them correctly, that doctor will never leave the vein world. He will always do veins. There's something immensely satisfying about doing veins. Okay, I had a guy that said, hey Randy, there's not a whole lot of technique to veins. Anybody can do veins. What's your response to that? That's, that's absolute. I couldn't disagree with that more. It's all technique, and that's why I can teach a doctor to do this laser procedure for the large veins. It may be 10 cases. He can go out and do it on okay. his own. Three years. For sclerotherapy, for injections of veins, a three-year. So you learning still do curve. sclerotherapy? Oh yeah, we do. A, but don't they come back with sclerotherapy? Not if it's done right. That vein will never come back because the vein's gone. A okay. new vein may form, but you're not going to get the same vein back. Okay. Now before we started off camera, you said uh, I don't think anybody does veins better than I do. You believe that? In my heart, I feel that I'm at the top of my game okay. right now, and I. I I honestly believe if somebody comes to me with a complex vein problem, it is my belief that I can do this better than anybody else. Okay. I, I feel good, that way. Good. Now before we get into uh, the different uh, types of uh, technology that you're using to get rid of the veins, what are the different categories of vein patients you see? We take care of veins with um, just superficial cosmetic problems, for instance, some facial veins. Okay. Or people with rosacea, they have a red face. People that have hand veins and they're embarrassed. But you've always said that the hands are a dead giveaway today. I had a lady last week, for example. She had a facelift. She looked great. But she was concerned because she said, I feel everybody's staring at these old hands. They say that, is that right? They do. They, she said, I've got this thin skin and I got veins that are popping out of my hands. Can you do anything for me? I said, very easily. So we took care of her. Is that hand. a routine treatment for you nowadays? Every day. Hands? Every day we're doing hand veins. It, it's, it, now, this is something I've only done one man in all the years I've done this that asked me to do it. Actually, he was a retired surgeon. But uh, women, um, that's a, a, every day. We but don't do. you have to be careful with, uh, with hands? Because, I mean, they can look like chicken breasts. I mean, you have to have some veins left in the hands. Some women want a natural look where they have some veins remaining. Some women say, I don't care. I want them all gone. 
Okay. So we can do it either way. We can take care of all those veins. These are superfluous veins. As an example, or as a rule, any vein you can see on your body is a superfluous vein. You don't need any you don't vein need you it. can see. There's not one vein that you can see on your body that I cannot safely eliminate.